Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. Mitch? If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. What? What is that? Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah. Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. What? Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Okay, it's not your car, so <laughs> you trust me with this. I get it. Even have a radio in here. Take it for a spin if you like. What do you mean? Every car has a radio. Does your car not have a radio? That's crazy. You really need to upgrade your tech in your car. <coughs> hmm, sorry for that. Oh, the wraiths. These are Raffin. Raffins. Hmm. Criminal <clears throat> criminals who have been exiled from the nomad society. Maybe they have a I personal. I can't believe he let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just... You think he did it on purpose? Let himself be captured? No, right? Uh, what I wanted to say is, yeah, these Raffins are have been exiled from Nomad Society. Maybe they have a personal grudge against Saul. Probably Saul exiled a few of them himself, right? As a leader of a Nomad clan and all. <clears throat> Holy, do you see that? What? That is one hell of a storm. Uh oh, looking bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. Maybe it's good. I mean, for visibility okay. and stuff. Let's go over the plan again. You slip into the Wraith's camp, soft as a fox. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted to go over the plan again. Oh, man. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oops. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. Yeah, great, thank you. Let's see what we're walking here. With... Oh no, all my tech enemies gone. <laughs> so, yep. That's that. <clears throat> oh, hello. You're all alone here. Maybe I can take you out first. Alright, I'm in. 
Hmm, this is a wraith. I have you in range. Okay, can I maybe hide the body? I mean, he's not dead yet, but can I hide him in the car or something? Maybe I just hide him behind this biggest truck thing? No one would check here, right? Oh, that's a crate. Oh. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Of course, you can get the VIP spot for chilling out. Just didn't see the crate. Here you go. Uh, I wonder if I can just jump on that. No? Use your arms, V. V, use your arms. Okay, fine. What about here? Can I... I can. Ooh, okay, okay. This is a bad place. I can't believe he didn't see me. Oh boy. Let's breach protocol. BDE nine ping real quick. I don't see any enemies. Are they all offline? Oh, okay. Well, thank goodness no one was in here. Forcing doors open, that means I can't close them, right? Ah, sniper. Target offline. There we go. They are on a separate network. Okay, it seems like this enemy is all alone, so I should be able to take him out at an opportune time. Wait, I can distract him. What now? Oh, that wasn't enough. Damn. Okay. Never mind, that was that that went too fast. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do a reboot optics. Just for good measure. What the?
Oh, wonderful. So far, so good. Let's see what's inside here. Okay, you're near the main structure. That has to be where they're holding Saul. Maybe. What about a truck? Do you want me to check out a truck? Seven A one C B D five five seven A one C B D five five okay. Nice thousand euro dollars. I sure hope the snipers aren't looking this way. I don't see the snipers anymore. What about a truck? How do I get in the building? I don't suppose I can simply open. Oh, I can. Maybe do it later. This gotta be attract some attention when I open it. Okay, the working theory is they transported prisoners using the truck here and they're keeping them inside the prisoners that makes much more sense is there anything here no there's nothing here right no secret entrance, a hole I can crawl through, no? Fine. Maybe I can take this guy out. when he turns around or maybe I can distract him oh he doesn't hear Whoop. Is he gonna turn around or what? Holy crap, he's too close to the other guy. Ah, okay, maybe I should just open this. You're gonna get alerted, right?
Nope, apparently no one cared. Which is fine. Okay, main building. Watch for a permit. Saul is somewhere inside. I feel it in my bones. Okay. Remember what I told you. Let's close this. Find the control this. room and you'll gain access to the security camps. Right. Control room. I think it's upstairs. Okay, that guy is bad news. He is facing the other direction, though. One C nine. There are two people downstairs. Oh. I think that's the control room. Panam can't do anything while I'm in here, right? How would sniping work? When I'm inside the building. Oh, there's one upstairs. But he's outside, I think. Good thing they don't stay in constant communication with, with each other. So that's a plus. One C B D B D five five seven A. No, one C B D B D five five. Right. Um, is there anywhere to hide this body? Yes, there is. Who was that? Who found a body? Wait, what? Oh my god. Uh, what do I do? Look on the bright side! Here we go. Oh my god, that was... very close. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, let's check for people here if everything's clear I think that's everyone all of the bodies are hidden so and no one has been alerted that's good Whew, oh my god okay current needs Clinic needs limbs not picky, chip sockets, processors, bioadapters, and damage look pretty fucking close. Optics functional, exoskeletons, any conditions. Do not send me any more peelings or thrusters. We don't want them. You'll get nothing for them, and we won't return them. Period. Okay, do they have some kind of 
a ripper dog surgery room or something set up here? But, but why would they need Saul? Porno BD, okay. Your inheritance, okay, that's spam. Regarding the breakers, Black Dust. As you know, we've had to work with other Raffin groups because of the weak halls down south. But that's as far as it goes. Outside NC ain't no one stronger than us. If any soul out there mistakes us for a fucking charity, you know what to do. This is our backyard. Scouting report from Plumber Joe. Land's good for raids on the rag. Little to no caldo activity out here and Militech patrols stick to their facility like flies on roadkill. But we did come across some heavy iron breakers. They're pushing in deeper. What's our strat? Ignore them? Breakers? What are they? Hmm. Not sure. Maybe I should take out this one guy? In which tower? That's the sniper, right? Yeah, that's the sniper. Ah, there's the other sniper, yes. I don't see the benefit of taking out the snipers, since I'm inside anyway. Okay. <clears throat> What is that? Coffee machine, okay. Turn off first, remote takeover. Is that Saul? Pan Am. I found Saul, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? It's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time. Well, he's not dead yet, so that's a good sign. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, damn. Cr great. What am I supposed to do with them? Damn, I just wanna, want to have a ping. So the question is, how do I get underground? What if I break chain here? Oh my god, he fell unconscious. Are you serious? That knocked him down for good? That's amazing. Here we go, ping. Wait, did I ping? Yeah. I don't see any other people in this room, so that's good. There are these double doors, maybe I need to go over there. Mm -hmm. I 
I think downstairs there's only one person left. Downstairs. So I can simply do an aerial takedown. They are all underground, I think. Excuse you. Oh, wonderful. Uh, there's got a hiding place somewhere, right? Oh, whoa, 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 I thought. Holy crap. I thought I turned them all off. Okay, that's the way underground, okay. No worries, nothing happened just yet. Let's leave him here. What's that? What's wrong with the stupid camera? Are you off now? Seriously? Jeez. This buddy wasn't me, that was just a terrible accident, right? Accident at work? That's how it works, right? No, let's leave the alcohol alone. Okay, here we go. I sure hope that guy doesn't turn around. Let's wait till one of them goes to check out this way and then take them out one by one. Divide and conquer. That guy is not turning, so I should be a-okay. We've read this. Oh, we can also hide the bodies. I don't think it matters too much. Now that we're already here, but let's do it anyway. Can't hurt, right?
Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, Pan Am. Got a girl here. Dead. Disemboweled. And not just for her chrome, I don't think. Fucking rapids. Solace built. There's no line they won't cross. None. It's just like the scaffs. That's indeed terrible. Taking people prisoner and then harvest their implants and also organs. Oh god damn it, she is she had notice, right? Oh boy. She did not notice. Okay. What a terrible guard. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Every everything. Oh, the container is full. Well, that's the first time we've seen that. No other containers nearby, I think. I don't think it matters too much. She's the only one left. Just put her here. Okay. Euro dollars. Very nice. Current needs. We've read this. Scouting report. Regarding the breakers, Pono BB. Your inheritance and draft. Morris. Listen, Carl, I know this isn't a fucking resort, but this draft getting on our fucking nerves. I swear to God, it's that valve by the pipes I can't open. If I got a melt in the basement during the day watching that Kaldu cunt, it would be real fucking super if I didn't freeze my ass off at night. Do something about this goddamn fully insulated basement before I, before my, before I get icicles on my balls, Carl. Dear Mr. Morris, we received your complaint about the draft in the basement. After discussing it with our best technicians, we believe we have a solution to your problem. Blow that fucking draft up your fucking ass, princess! What the fuck else do you want? You're a fucking heated floor? Hot tub? We got guys laying their lives on the highway so you don't have to. And you still fucking gripe about it? Do me a favor, jab your eyes, jab your eyes out with one of them ball icicles. Sincerely, fuck you. Jeez. Toxic work environment. That's just... Not okay. No, sir. Right. I think I got eyes on him. Is he breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul. Do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? Oh my god, did they brainwash him or something? He's delirious. Cigar. I told you, sons of bitches. A cigar, some ice cold hooch, and a couple of ladies to keep me company. Either that, or you can kiss my keister. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. She left? Not forever. I'm gonna get you out. Do I? You. I remember. You're that merc. Exactly, I'm V. Do I inject you? Can you walk? Fuck! Something is out of whack. His implants isn't functioning? You're pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Ugh. 
Holy crap. Oh, yeah. So, how is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. Demanded a cigar and some companions. Lady companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. Mm -hmm. And if we can be just as sly together, might get out without firing a shot. Yes. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar. A quick exit, really. Find a safe way out optional. Wait. There's a quick way? The grates? A fence? Saul, you coming? Okay, he's coming. Good thing we have the technical ability, huh? This is the maintenance tunnel. Why couldn't we have gotten in through this? Seriously. Video game logic, huh? Oh, the sandstorm. Shoot. Oh, wonderful. I wouldn't say fresh, but... Um, hello. Uh, Saul? Where you... Yeah, come. Now get the fuck out! Are you okay? Storm is picking up steam. Good. It'll cover our tracks. Can you drive in the storm? Anyway, we have good reason not to head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead. Do you see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! Oh. Uh, I need to catch my breath. Okay. Uh. The struggle of O'Neill Station. The European Space Agency started out with seemingly noble intentions. We'll open the door to the universe, the solar system, a home to all, and so on and so forth. It didn't take long for these catchphrases to reveal themselves for, for what they really were. Colonial ambitions wrapped up in lofty ideals. We, the builders and first inhabitants of O'Neill One, have witnessed this firsthand. The ESA sent us into space with promises of a new life and a better tomorrow. Instead, what lay in wait for us was a complete lack of freedom and back-breaking work in extremely dangerous conditions. We would have pulled through, we would have toughed it out for the greater good, if only they treated us as human beings, informed us of their decisions, listened to our concerns and requests, but the ESA ignored us. The consequences were inevitable. In 2022, after completing construction of the station, our situation was critical. Station management demanded 18 hours of work every day, 7 days a week, from everyone, regardless of age or health condition. Our peaceful protest was met with a disproportionate use of force, which induced stun guns. They thought it would break us, just like the countless protests they broke back on Earth. 
The thing is, out here, it's not so easy to call for reinforcements. Workers outnumbered guards 40 to 1, and one stun gun charge held only 15 rounds. The ESA's management had effectively shot themselves in the foot. It was over before they could realize. Only seven hours passed before O'Neill 1 and O'Neill 2 declared independence and became the first nations established outside of Earth. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Just in time for dinner. But the ESA. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Yeah, the ESA won't. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, B? I'll search in here. You want me to go outside? Really? No, in the bathroom? A lot of useful things. Angles left in a hurry. Biotechnica made them a good offer. Yeah, prime. Sell us your land. Or... You don't know that. Can I talk to Saul? Nope. No bulldozers, no backhoe loaders ever showed up. Lousy, rotten way to get them out. Deal with the corp, you end with nothing, Saul. Don't go there. Not now. Smuggling. If you want to transport goods, you need contacts. Without contacts, forget about doing business. Who will you need to pay off? Custom officers, guards, the people at the gas stations? Don't forget the motels. You take care of that. You can show up and vanish as you please. Keep them happy and they'll know when to turn a blind eye. It's also a good idea to strike a report with the fellows from Orbital Air, that is, if you're planning to ship something into orbit. Remember those boxes full of seedlings last year? That could have that could only have happened because my boys at OA Customs look the other way for 15 seconds. Make sure you're well equipped. Don't use standard signal jammers. Customs agents aren't stupid. They'll know you're hiding something at the border. Besides which there are... Besides which, there are no mo models they can't disable. Use upgraded jammers that work hyper-locally in the exact place you're hiding the goods. Secure packages with ICE, ICE, ideally bought from us. You can trust family. Use your imagination. Do you know how I managed to transport a few dozen pounds of drugs to SoCal? I paid the right people not to ask any questions and hitched a ride from an all-foods convoy. Nobody realized that several containers of food were packed full with drugs. Plan your routes carefully. You have up-to-date border patrol routes and arenas scanned in real time by corporate satellites. And you have good old American roads. Use back roads and routes that corporal convoys would rather avoid. You can also dance around these old minefields since the corps don't patrol there anymore. Although apparently by now they know we pass through here. We pass through there, and it's only a matter of time. Use the tunnels as a last resort. These days, it's usually a one-way trip. You go through one, and the second you're out, the satellites have a lock on you. So in case you do, step on it. And most of all, brothers and sisters, don't get caught. Yay! Now we can see each other while talking. Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. You bet I do. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. Outside? So, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. You're kidding, right? Anything else, Your Excellency? Anything else? Your Excellency? Huh. I'll need to think about it. Though it'll be the end of our friendship if Saul freezes to death. Oh. Then... Oh, damn. Why do I have to do that? I don't want to go into the sandstorm. Jeez. Am I taking damage? What? Am I taking damage? I can't heal myself, so I hope I won't die or anything. 
Jeez. Well, that was easy. Oh boy. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Questionable whiskey. Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No, no lecture. But we do need to talk. So, of course it's lucky. That we saved crap. you. That It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. See that? Clenched teeth, furrowed brow. It's his way of saying thanks. We've had our spats. A few, like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what's coming. Bigger fucking problems. Maybe a war. Oh, wow. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Oh. Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. Biotechnica? Uh... I agree. I gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Biotechnica. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? Well, I worked for corporations. More than you think, Saul. Used to work for Arasaka, so seen plenty. Arasaka's not Biotechnica. The difference is not in the MO. That's always the same. You know what you are to them? Labor. To be exploited and ultimately consumed. Best case scenario. Exactly. Thank you, v. I could not have said it better. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. You can't trust the corpos here. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? My boobs. Damn, I love that word. Uh, what a random tidbit of information. Well, what was that about? <laughs> Do we really want to drink? Probably just the meds. Probably the meds talk. I sure hope so. I think he took a few solid hits to his skull. And? You think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. The grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. <laughs> mm hmm. I couldn't ask for more. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh. How's your whiskey, ma'am? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe getting a bit too comfortable. Sure you're not getting too comfortable? Um. Forgot myself a bit, huh? Maybe a little. You know what? We better get some sleep. That was a damn long day. Agreed. And v, I am glad you came. Sure. It meant a lot to me. Happy to help. Ooh, do you hear that? What? No. Mm -hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but... When a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plane, 
I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink. Johnny. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Oh, Panem's gone. Let's wash our face. Oh, can I not wash my face? Okay, fine. Oh my god, I look so terrible <laughs> compared to Saul or Panem. Who's alive? Cassidy. Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. It's all doing all right. Cracked skull, six busted ribs, bruised kidneys, but he's back at it. Bossing folk every which way. You? Um, I choose the motel. Hey, you gotta agree now. Next time, I choose the motel. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Wait, I thought you were gonna stay with the family. Oh, wait, hang on. I thought you were headed back to the Alicaldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on. Can I talk to you? Last night, when we were talking to Saul. Oops. Thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing. The wraiths, the raid. It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Alda Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Oh, you're giving me another bike? No, a sniper rifle. Wait, what am what am I gonna talk? Uh, get a sniper rifle. But it's your sniper rifle. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Glad I could help. I'm glad I did. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. Okay. That's all you had to say? Okay. Let's talk to the Elder Caldos. Talk to Cassidy. No, why I read? Because only fiction's capable of conjuring up any kind of sense about this world. Okay. <coughs> so, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Free. No better feeling in the world. What about Pan Am? You all bury the hatchet with Pan Am? <laughs> I'd say it was more like a battle axe. These things, they're tough to bury, and even tougher to keep buried. But I'm optimistic. Her heart seems like it's in the right place. Mm. Your heart seems to be in the right place too. Better start heading out. Yeah, same goes for us. Only once a radiator gets a breather. Thanks, V. What you did for me, I'll never forget it. 
so you might say you're in my debt. Okay, can I just take this? That's not mine, right? <laughs> Where am I? Oh my god, I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> 